what are the best goal setting tools out there uh, at this moment in time? I've trained over two and a half thousand people in small immersion seminars all over the world. I'm in Bali right now, uh, one of my training locations. I've been a coach, consultant, goal setting with others since 1997. And I've tried and tested almost any coaching uh, goal setting tool to mankind at this point. And so I tried them out. I may have temporarily worked with them. And for me also, what is the goal setting tool that is best is if I interview coaches or for myself, uh, or I, I kind of watch people's feeds on social media on goal setting, uh, the, the way that I can check if they really know what they're talking about and actually apply these goal setting tools on themselves so they know it would be successful or not and apply these goal setting tools on others is that I can actually measure like, do they know what they're talking about? So if you are a coach yourself, you definitely want to listen to this video. If you're someone who hires other people to be coached by, this is how you can ask some great questions um, because you can test them on what methodologies they use, if they stayed up to date or not. Um, but also if you're interested in setting goals for yourself, um, this would be useful to know. Well, one of the things that is most important in goal setting, what many people don't realize, is that consciously we can sit there all we want, right? There's a many goal setting tools out there that deal with logical conscious mind concepts. So for instance, the first coaching, uh, the first goal setting uh, tool that I've ever used when I was a young kid in the 90s um, you know, working through college, consulting and, and, and coaching, um, I used a, a goal setting methodology called SMART goals, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time bound. Um, I realized quickly, by the way, cause, um, I was already trained in NLP in 97 already. I quickly realized that smarting goals doesn't work. It has no scientific base. Anyone who's learned it will find and actually then applies it will realize that it really doesn't work. And at best, it's a it's an interesting conversation. So if you have if you're considering hiring a coach who who still <laughs> smarts goals, like run for the hills. That's all I can say. So the important thing to realize in goal setting are a few different things. Okay. So it's important that in goal setting, you activate the brain, you activate the neurology of the brain. So your brain can understand what it sees, hears and, hears and feels the moment that you reach that goal. Okay. And that's the way that the brain lights up. Think about if you go to a movie, there is the music, there is the acting, there is the stepping into the shoes of the person who's going through the things. There is the experience. So everything is, fully sensory based. That's really important to the goal setting. And that's where the NLP way of goal setting really hammers on that, you know, to place yourself in the future, reaching this goal and activating the brain as to what you would see, hear, feel, smell, taste, looking through your own eyes. Another important thing is in the NLP way of goal setting is that you go through a set of meta model questions, which is called the well-formed outcome process that really allows for the brain to be lit up and look here, look here, look here, and the brain is pinged. So it doesn't just become a conscious mind goal set, but it becomes also an unconscious mind goal set. Which leads me to the second thing that's really required for good goal setting. The second, <laughs> that's my Bali dog here. The second thing really required for goal setting is that you use what we call RAS, or reticular activating system, which is, means that you prime the brain to notice certain things that are required to reach your goal, right? So for instance, this is a very old part of our psychology and neurology, uh, so it's not a, a new term, but it may be a new term to you as a goal setter 
that you need to prime the brain to sort of like notice things. So for example, if you um, want to buy a certain car of a certain color and a certain make because no one has it and you buy that car, I promise you the moment that you drive that car of the parking lot of the car dealership, you suddenly see there you see one and there you see one and there you see one. These cars have always been there, except you actually activated the brain in a way to actually notice these things. Many of us are taught through childhood of our brain actually be activated in a negative emotion because it's danger, but you can also do that for positive emotions or, or goals in this case, to notice things and that are useful for your goals and you suddenly start meeting the right people and you get in the right information and and some people think that's like fate or something like that but it's actually rats right it can be rats it can still be fate too right so you need to leverage that and i think the nlp way of goal setting really does that too now the downside of the nlp way of goal setting it's a longer process okay so if you've taken the live or the online training, you know that that is a process that takes 45 minutes. It sets up the conscious mind as well as the unconscious mind. And it says, look here, look here, look here. And it literally programs the brain for goal setting. Okay. And so, uh, by the way, if you're interested in taking an online NLP training or live NLP training on Bali, Amsterdam, Los Angeles, Mexico, or just receiving tons of really great goal setting and other tools. I have some freebies out there, many articles. The freebies that I have are about visualizations that you can do on yourself or others. There's also an audio-based visualization out there for goals and overcoming obstacles in goals specifically. Um, that's out there, so check out the information below uh, how to get there and, 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 and how to get access to our hub uh, of all kinds of cool information. It's not live yet right now, but depending on when you see this video, uh, subscribe to our newsletter. You get two NLP techniques a month or more, tons of free resources, amazing stuff. So make sure you check that out. Go to globalnlptraining.com or check below and feel free to get uh, reach out to my staff and, and, to, and to be alerted when the big hub goes live and stuff like that. And we can send you all this cool stuff. Um, the, the issue though with the NLP way of goal setting, it's a longer process, it's a coaching session in, in a sense or a whiteboard session that you have with yourself. Um, in a previous video, I talked about how, what the biggest mistake is that people make in goal setting. And I talk about timing and how to determine that and how to actually set goals, not, start, not reasoning from the present forward but backwards and so that's a whole other video i will add that information below as well um the second the thing is though that as a daily maintenance uh which is really required to activate the brain that process is way too long right so there's an nlp way of solving it and there is also um a scientific way of solving it based on research the nlp way of solving to, to do something for a few minutes a day um, would be placing your mind into the future or in the first milestone or the next milestone and see what you would see, hear what you would hear, feel what you would feel and visualize that. Make it brighter, make it bigger, make it louder. And that's how you keep prying and teaching your brain how to operate like a person who's really successful. Okay. But there's also a scientific way of goal setting. And there's only one scientific way of goal setting out there currently um, that I love to use for daily maintenance as well, which is called the WHOOP method. And WHOOP is uh, developed by Dr. Gabriella Oettingen, who uh, works at the University of Hamburg and New York University. Um, and so she, 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 she sort of asked herself the question um, at the beginning of, of sort of the idea of, of not developing a goal setting tool. It was more like when we goal set, should we consider obstacles or not, right? And, and, and what was kind of cool is that, you know, it's like, okay, let's test out when people consider the obstacles in goal setting or not considering obstacles, what does that show? And, 
and, and she actually discovered that you should consider the obstacles in goal setting, um, but in a very specific way. And so she developed a technique around that and then developed that and then tested that coaching technique to see if it would work in uh, academic performance, career goals, uh, sports goals, physical goals, all kinds of different goals and see what would work. And so this method came out of that. And, um, and that is the method that I actually think is NLP future pacing, but allows also for this idea about obstacles to come in. And that is only a few minutes a day, right? So what is the WHOOP method? Well, first the W is the wish, which is in NLP we can call the outcome. Uh, what specifically is it that you want to achieve, right? What is the outcome of the goal? And so what's the wish? You put that in the forefront of your mind and then you think of the outcome, right? The moment of reaching the goal. Uh, as, an LP, as an NLP person, I would NLP that up a little bit and then also say do it associated so you see what you would see, hear what you would hear, feel what you would feel because then I, I light up the brain, I, act, I, I can sort of prime the RAS here um, and all that good stuff. Um, so I do that associated. Uh, then the second O is obstacle. You know, put in the forefront of your mind. I wouldn't highlight that too much and get stuck on that. But what is something that could be an obstacle? Not something that can go wrong. That's an, another way of phrasing it. What's an obstacle? An obstacle course is something that you jump over, go around. So I, I like using the word obstacle more than saying what can go wrong or what can allow you to fail or something like that. I don't like to talk to someone's brain that way. But what is an obstacle? Because we always think about obstacles have solutions and are you can overcome them and obstacles are also sort of like not talking about a pain impulse even though if you have this obstacle there may be a pain impulse or not but it's it's about how you navigate it right rather than hit a wall and we stop our goal or right? we fail on our goal so how do I navigate this obstacle so you put the obstacle in the forefront of your mind and then the P yeah in whoop plan what is it that you can do in terms of an actions if this obstacle were to occur what could you do to navigate this goal right so for instance if the obstacle is not getting enough new clients in when the old clients packages are ending what is it that you could do well what you could do is to find a way to leverage clients actually signing up for another round or how can you get more clients by taking a course or hitting up your network or, you know, whatever it is that you need to do. Like, how can you do this obstacle? You can think about this from an NLP perspective in two different ways. You can think about it associated. What will you see here and feel navigating these obstacles, right? And, but you can also do it dissociated to sort of look at yourself from a non-emotional, logical observer point of view, navigating these obstacles. What is best, I've noticed it really depends on the client, on the person. Uh, I notice actually the best results if to first do it from a logical observer point of view to doctor out what is it that you could do, maybe even dialogue it out with the client as a coach, um, and then associate it, navigate this obstacle in a very smooth way where then you can still associate into having navigated that obstacle and having reached that goal and then see, hear, feel, smell, taste when you've reached that goal. Then you, you sort of have everything combined. If you're not NLP trained and you have another methodology for coaching, then this WHOOP method can still be great uh, for you to replace that methodology, right? Um, or to also, hey, I like my way of goal setting, Nikki, go away. Um, but to use this as a way of daily maintenance and leverage science on how to uh, goal set in better ways. So that's my take on the best goal setting tools currently out there. See you around.